Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm gonna be reviewing, I'm just probably gonna pick up on the mic. Let's see how this goes. I have four, uh, 12 plus different mouse pads here in this pile. And I'm gonna talk through, holy crap, that's a lot of them. I'm gonna talk through them as quickly and as efficiently as possible. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my one of my G Pros and I'm gonna do a top overview with my hand and I'm gonna literally go through each one, one by one, and hopefully I can make this a very, very fast video to talk through all these mouse pads. Uh, it's 12 plus, I counted there's duplicates in there. I'm gonna explain why there's duplicates. Um, otherwise it would be like 14 or 16, I don't know, depending on the number of, I don't remember here, but it's 12 plus. We're gonna go from a speed pad, which means fast, to control. So when I use those words, that's what I'm talking about in terms of these mouse pads. I'm gonna, I don't have anything to really gauge and say, oh, it's faster, it's slower. This is my own personal preference. Uh, I'm using custom mouse gates uh, with uh, pure Teflon underneath. So obviously underneath the mouse, you'll see that it's white compared to uh, other mouse feet, which are black. Pure Teflon is, uh, is white. And I'm gonna talk about just why I stopped using a mouse pad and which one I started using and hopefully throughout the video, it'll be very informative and useful for somebody. Hopefully I can keep this really, really short. Okay, so this was one of my first mouse pads that I ever owned. It was the Myonix Propus. Now it's a hard surface pad. And the reason why I started using hard surfaces whenever I first started was because I couldn't afford to get a mouse pad, to be honest. And then when I could afford one, I had been using my desk for so long and I needed a hard surface to feel comfortable. And so I started using different hard surfaces, hard surfaces, and I use utilize them aluminum one. The downside to these mouse pads is that they get dirty really easily. And I stopped using hard surfaces because even as you uh, go across the mouse pad, while it's super fast and really, really smooth, um, even the aluminum ones, they uh, break down really easily and you'll start seeing things chip away. And you'll no notice as you start to aim um, with them, that uh, some surfaces feel inconsistent. Like one surface will feel less scratchy or smoother than another. And so I said, you know what? I'm not gonna utilize this pad anymore. And I kind of moved on from it. But uh, if you're using a hard surface, those are the downsides. But the plus side is that they are really, really fast. They're the fastest pads you can own if you utilize any of them. And I will move on to the next mouse pad that I have that is considered the fastest. So this is actually my new favorite one that I utilize. Um, and I have my mouse pads all here on the left and it's, I barely have any space. It's actually my new favorite one. You'll see me use it on stream. I actually have two of these. Now it's just as fast as a hard surface and it's very uh, silky. I guess you can say the downside to this mouse pad um, is that if you go left and right versus up and down, the friction is different. So it has a different X and Y um, friction base which some people will very much dislike. For some reason, I started to really, really like it. And it is my new mouse pad for when I aim in Kovacs, Apex, Battlefield, and I've been using it for quite some time. It doesn't really degrade in terms of surface. I did clean the other one and um, it washed up very nicely. This one I probably need to wash uh, probably in a few weeks. Um, but I can do a video as well how I explain how I wash my mouse pads. But this is my new favorite mouse pad. Um, it is rough on the, the arm. So I, I use a, um, a sleeve most of the time whenever I play. I've used it regardless of the surface, but it's definitely rough. And so people may not like that. So if you want a fast pad, but has a different X and Y, um, this is gonna be a really good pad for you. Otherwise, it's really hard to recommend also what they are called. This is the Artisan Mid Hine. The Artisan Mid Hine, they, ha they ship from overseas. They're pretty hard to get but is definitely my favorite mouse pad I have ever owned. And as I go through the list, I will explain pretty much why I stopped using other mouse pads. But since this number two in terms of speed, oddly, I, it's, it's so weird to put it because that technically the, uh, the Y is a little different, but let's move on. So next we have the Cooler Master, I believe is the MP1500. I could be wrong on that number, but so we have this surface. This is actually very much like the Artisan Hine. It's a little bit slower, just a little bit in terms of um, its movement. It's really, really smooth. It's not as rough, but it is rough overall. So some people don't like this pad because it can feel a little, you can get that friction and bother, bother your wrists. So a lot of people may not use it for that reason, but it is pretty fast. I know in the video, I haven't been doing this as a test to show the speed, but it is pretty fast. Um, next on the list, I have the 
another artisan pad for you guys. This is the um, this is the FX Zero, but this is soft or sorry mid. This is mid. The FX Zero mid artisan. So the reason why this this is actually really fast as well as you can see it. It's almost comparable to the other one. Only reason I didn't label this as my new favorite is because the mid high end is much faster and I started becoming a big fan of the different X and Y for some reason. I don't really know. But I did order this one. It's pretty high up there. I would say it's maybe my number two, number three pad. Um, I don't notice the surface degrading very much. If it bothers you, the hairs, especially cat hairs, um, stick out from the mouse pad. It doesn't impact the overall um, friction or movement of the mouse, but if it bothers you seeing little hairs come out of the mouse pad, that's really gonna, <laughs> that's really gonna get under your skin and bother you. But again, it doesn't impact performance. It is a pretty fast mouse pad overall. Um, you'll notice as we start uh, going through this list that they're gonna start getting a little, a little slower, and I'll explain that as we keep going. Um, the size overall is it's pretty good in terms of um, uh, size of mouse pad. You can also get smaller or larger, as well. This is probably actually this is the largest one that you can get. But overall, really solid mouse pad. I have nothing really bad to say about this. If the hind didn't exist, I would be using this one. Okay, another Myonix mouse pad. So this one I stopped using because back then I didn't like the different X and Ys. Obviously, it's really small. Um, it's so old. It's kind of folded. So that's kind of my bad on the surface. It's pretty fast. And to be fair, if it was if I got the larger one, I definitely would probably like it a lot more. Um, it's definitely got some friction to it. Uh, not a whole lot, not as much as you would think, but it's got a lot of stopping power to it. I probably should have put this further down on the list, but because the surface is silky, um, it's just a different X and Y of how, how it feels. It kind of has a, that um, raincoat kind of feel. It's it's definitely it's definitely been worn, which is why it moves so slowly and also because it's folded. But it's, it is a good mouse pad. It's very thin, which is why I didn't really stick with it. And also because it's so small. If you are a high sensitivity player, then this is going to be probably your mouse pad to go to because it's so small. But you can get a bigger one. So there is that. Again, I just as a reminder, a lot of this is my own opinions. I don't have stuff to kind of like say, oh, it's faster or slower. I'm just going based off my own opinions and different mouse pads. So hopefully you guys can make your own informed decision on a mouse pad. Let's go to the next one. Ah, the Logitech. Whoo, man, Logitech mouse pads. I actually own two of these. So as this mouse pad ages, from what I realized, it used to be, it was pretty high up on my list and I used it for a good while. And I'll explain why and you'll see why based on the other mouse pads that I'm gonna be showcasing and reviewing, that it's, a, it's very fast. It is extremely fast, as you can tell. But the downside of the mouse pad is that it depends on the humidity of the room. If you start to sweat quite a bit, and your hand or wrist, you will notice that this mouse pad tends to absorb, absorb it in a way, and it starts to get slower as you game. So if, the, if this was wet, then um, it definitely impacts. It gets warm, it doesn't breathe. It's kind of why I was using the hind because it definitely breathes a lot more. So if you wash it, also it gets slower just slightly. I guess, I guess the word is smoother. In the past, there was a bit of um, gloss on it and then it kind of disappears, but it still holds up really, really well because one of these mouse pads, and I can't even tell the difference, is three years old and the other is probably about four months. And I did use it quite extensively, one of them on stream in the past, and it's a really, really solid mouse pad. Um, as you can tell, they hold up their value. They last for a really long time. It's relatively thick. It doesn't have stitch edges, um, unfortunately, but it doesn't really bother me too much. But overall, a very strong mouse pad. It's fast, which I really liked. I think it's faster than the GSR, in my opinion, because I'm going to talk about the GSR SE next. So GSR SE is what I'm going to talk about next in terms of this mouse pad in comparison. But they're very, very close, and I would kind of put them in the same boat. I guess the difference is, uh, we're going to talk about the difference in the GSR SE, but these two are very, very similar. So I'm going to put these aside. I own two of them, and I can tell you that they hold up their value uh, for a very long time, and it's pretty impressive. Okay, so I own two of these, so I can give a really, really strong input and thoughts on the GSR SE. So um, one of these is definitely older, and I think this is the slightly older one. The GSR SE is also really fast. It feels very similar to the Logitech G640, which is the one I was just using a second ago. Now, when you first buy it, it's actually faster than as it ages. You do have to wash this mouse pad when you wash it, there was like a, a, a film or something on it. I guess a coating is the best word to use. And it kind of disappears after about three months. And after about three months, I mean, that's kind of why I bought a second one. I was like, something doesn't feel right. And so I bought um, a second one and 
it's a little faster this one but it does have friction to it but that coating is kind of everything that's why i stopped using it because after about three or four months of heavy heavy usage is what i did i noticed it starts to slow down um, it's a the GSR SE is a little slower in my opinion than the G640. I think the G640 is faster, and it with the coating that it has. Um, I don't know the G640 just kind of held up a bit different. But with that, let's say you like the G the G640 is just too fast, and you actually prefer once this this thing is worn down a bit more, and you prefer the bit of in between of more control, then the GSR SE is going to be a big fan of yours. Like this this is a great mouse pad. It does hold up. Um, and I, I say after that, that the consistency, because I've watched these several times at this point, because I used it for a little over eight months and heavy, heavy usage. And I have to say that the pad, um, obviously at that point, the, the, the friction doesn't change once the coating is gone. But if you like the out of the box feel, just anticipate that that's going to change on this mouse pad. So if you buy it, just so you know what you're buying. And if otherwise you're gonna have to buy another one every three months to get that initial feel. If you want the initial feel, Maybe the G640, the Hein, or the Artisan Zero are going to be more your more your bag. But if you want more control, this is this is a this is the one right here, honestly, to get that in between. So I, I use the Logitech ones quite a bit, and so obviously I have a Battlefield One pad that's also Logitech, which from it is a little different because it's got the painted, um, not really painted. It's 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 a, you know it's got the the graphic design on it, and I use this one for a really long time. But I feel like the graphic design slows it down. I, I don't know if, how they put it on there. Also, because they're larger, it, they also don't feel as thick. Um, if you happen to have a custom mouse pad, be aware that if there's a print or something on it, that um, I don't know. I guess the detail kind of changes it. It's why I didn't I didn't stick with it. Sorry, I hit my microphone. Because I also have the Battlefield 5 one, and this is definitely a lot newer. See how it's faster? It, when it wore down, it wore down pretty bad, and it's why I didn't use it. And of course, because they are one of a kind, then you're never going to have that same speed ever again. The G640 was much easier to care for. While I praise them for the artistic value of these, I think they're better to, like, if you have anything that has a print, like this is why I'm reviewing it. I'm talking about it. And I didn't add it to my number of 12 plus, or maybe I did. But either way, I think it's important that if you have a one of a kind mouse pad like this, that you probably just don't really utilize it um, for for gaming or for everyday use because the print does change. Also, the way they made it is just different than the G640. So something to keep in mind when you buy those custom mouse pads on the websites and you want to get those nice custom prints is that that's going to impact how they wash and how the friction feels, as because I notice that the friction starts to become way slower than the GSR SE, in my opinion. So I don't have it with me, but I'm going to talk about it because this one is very similar, is the QCK. Um, this Myonix pad is very similar to the QCK, and even when I spoke to them, they say it is. I have the QCK. It's at work, and with everything going on with the, you know... The thing, I don't want to mention it because, you know, demonetization or something, who knows. But um, I didn't go to work and pick it up. And I wanted to make this video for you guys because obviously if you're at home, then you're testing mouse pads and working a lot more with all your stuff. Then, you know, you want to talk about this. I think this pad is very similar to it. The downside as you start to get more of a control pad, because um, it there's it's it's slower, but it's not too bad. That, that's where the QC... K, um, any of them plus or the myonix pad which is I forget which one this is exactly um, oh there it is it's, it says it right there the um, a, Lo a, a Loweth I can't remember the name of it exactly but nonetheless I uh, had it the wrong way it's uh they get dirty pretty quickly when they get dirty their surface changes you'll see it whenever you scratch on it uh, it's probably kind of hard to see and I have a mouse pad underneath this, this one which is um, what I'm going to talk about here briefly but they become more control when I say control is that they're slower but it gives you the dexterity so whenever you're making a mouse movement it stops so you have to you, you have to stop less with your overall hand and when you're stopping less with your overall hand obviously you get that nice little extra benefit of well, have not having to put more tension. You, the mouse pad will do it for you. Um, obviously, this, this one's quite old, and my QCK is also probably about five years old as well. I use it for a really long time, and I use these, uh, and they hold up very well. If you're not really sure what kind of mouse pad to get, and you're still experimenting, do I want a fast mouse pad or do I want a really slow one? Then the QCK and 
mouse pads like the the myonics um, like this one are really really great I actually would say don't get the myonics go for the QCK in my opinion one it's easier to get two it's a little larger and also um, granted it doesn't have the braiding on the ends of it I think that they hold up a lot better yeah they fray but it's also a lot cheaper so that's my recommendation so I don't have the QCK here and there is a mouse pad obviously here that I'm gonna talk about in just a hot minute with my experience with it but um yeah, QCK, if you don't know what to get, it's a great way to start because it's like almost smack dab in the middle. It's not too slow, it's not too fast, and then you start to get into uh, decisions. So I have noticed that my trend is I don't own a lot of very slow pads. I tend to go on the more fast side. It could be, again, because of how I started was using just my desk because I couldn't afford a mouse pad. Um, but either way, this one is the same one as you might have saw earlier, but it's actually, it is very different. So the other one you saw was the FX0 Mid. This is the FX0 Soft. So you'll notice with all Artisan pads and notice how this one starts to have way more friction. When it's soft, it's a little squishier, a little softer to the touch. Um, obviously, you know, Artisan does a really great job with, you know, st you know, the edges and everything. That's not a problem. Like I said, this one is a lot older. Um, you'll see, I don't know if you can even see, you'll see cat hairs and stuff like that. Especially with the soft ones, you'll see like hairs, they just, they don't impact performance, but they are there and they are kind of annoying. So with this mouse pad, because it's soft, it's squishier, compared, it's very unique, uh, Artisan in their soft pads. Because it's softer, um, if you put more pressure down, it actually adds more friction to the pad itself so then you're going to have a little more friction it's a little weird because now it's dependent on how much force you put down of how much uh i guess control there is on the mouse pad itself because if you're super light and you don't click really heavy because keep in mind that with a soft pad with artisan if you click really hard that every time you click there's that pressure and it's going to add even more pressure to the movement which causes a stuttery movement pads like this made me realize how much pressure I put with my, my pad and how it taught me a lot essentially this this mouse pad that I needed to be lighter on my touch and have the surface itself help me aim rather than work against me so this is the if you have questions about the difference between mid and soft it's a squishiness and also it adds more control to the pad so let's say the artisan mid hind is too too fast for you and if it happens to be too fast for you, then, hey, go for the soft. Maybe that can help uh, control it out a bit more. And if you don't really like that, then, well, there's several different options. Now, I'm going to go to an even more control pad. This one's extremely popular among people who play CSGO and very, very famous. So the GSR. The GSR is extremely famous. I did not like it because it's too controlling. You'll notice that this, this pad literally stops on a dime. It is fantastic at stopping your mouse. Um, it's extremely durable, extremely, extremely durable, and very good at what it does. Um, it's uh, it's just a control pad. Um, they do get dirty very quickly. I would say after about a month or two. Um, I didn't use this too extensively, but I did use a glorious pad, which is underneath this one that I'm about to talk about. But in terms of this mouse pad here, um, once they get dirty, you have to wash them because this, the it changes quite dramatically. So I recommend. If you use this pad, understand that you might need some faster mouse feet, a lighter mouse. If you use a heavier mouse, then you're just going to get more control, more power to you. It's not a bad thing. So control pad really, really stops. Wash this thing. I'll put out a video if you need to understand how to wash your mouse pads, but please wash this unless you like whenever it's dirty and it becomes even more of a control pad. Again, more power to you. That's awesome. I might have repeated myself there, but I think it's important because I'm going to talk about the next one. GSR SE, the most control pad you can ever get. Awesome. Great bang for your buck, extremely durable, really, really solid. It's so easy to recommend to people. As, a, as with a lot of these, so the one underneath this mouse pad, I actually put my mouse pads on top of this one now. I used this pad for about a year. I thought control pads were the way to go. This is the Glorious XXXL. It's extremely large. It's dirty because of reasons. Um, it's been through the ringer. It is hard to clean. I love this mouse pad because it's got so much space to it. I mean, you literally cover the whole desk. The thing is amazing. But the downside is every time I try to clean the darn thing, um, it always left, uh, it's just hard to clean. So the friction was always different. And I, I don't know if you can see it, it's disgusting. You know, I try, I put this thing in the washer because that's what they recommend on their website. I don't, please, 
do not put your mouse pads in the washer. The only reason I did it with this one once is because they recommend on their website. I can show you a different way to clean your mouse pads. I promise you I'm going to show you. You have to be very gentle with these to keep the friction. Um, with glorious mouse pads, it's super controlling. It's super slow, but if you're low sense and you need all that real estate, it's for real estate, then um, obviously then this is gonna be a really great pad for you. It was for me, I used it for about a year um, until I realized that I needed something way, way faster for me. And whenever I realized that, I decided to finally switch. And when I switched, I'm never switching off the Artisan mid hind or anything that's fast because it just works better for me. Um, if you're a low sense player, fantastic. If you're a high sense player, you need that control, fantastic. You need the real estate, fantastic. It's extremely durable. Um, it gets dirty really easily. It's hard to maintain, but if you can maintain this mouse pad, then this mouse pad is going to be for you. So. Obviously, I have covered a lot of mouse pads, and this video is way longer than 10 minutes. I hope that this was helpful for you, any of you guys. This is literally 12 mouse pads. Instead of making like 12 different videos, I tried to sum it up in one video. I can do more in depth. Again, mouse pads, just so you understand, are very specific to the eye of the beholder. So that's kind of a disclaimer, again, because obviously you're going to use a different mouse with different weight, with different uh, mice feet. And obviously you're going to have, you know, your own personal preference in terms of cloth, surface, friction. It's mouse pads are all personal preference, but that was my journey. That was probably about four or five years worth of mouse pads that I have gone through in the past, again, four or five years. And I've learned so much. Um, and I, just, I learned that I didn't like a slow mouse pad, even though I love the real estate. I want real estate space in terms of my mouse pad for real estate. I wanted, I wanted that real estate, I wanted it fast, but I wanted it durable, and I didn't want the surface to change, so that is why I ended up with the Artisan Hine. I have two of them. I love those things very much. I even have one at work, which is black. I have two here, which are red, and I've got nothing really bad to say about any of these mouse pads because they're all fantastic. They all held up very, very well. I enjoyed all of them, and it really came down to what I liked at the end of the day. So... I hope you found this video helpful. I really appreciate you watching and I'll see you guys next time.